Welcome back to Farm and Him, everyone. Today it is nasty outside. It's been raining for the last three-ish days, and now it's sleeting and drizzling. It's just gross out. So, because I can't get my nice camera wet, I'm on the GoPro today. So the first issue we have for the day, uh, this Dewey's bail bed here. We noticed it's leaking hydraulic fluid somewhere, and uh, still trying to figure out where exactly that is, but um, you can see down there and in there. So somewhere we've got a leak. Well, I looked at the hydraulic leak and couldn't really see anything. I need to get this half a bale off. I need to feed this first, then pull it into the big hay shed and try to drop the arm so I can see a little bit better, but hopefully it's nothing major. And of course now it's snowing and it is already super muddy, so hopefully I don't get stuck. I'm trying to feed those heifers right there. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I made it. Not terrible. So the soil is completely saturated, so all this rain and snow has nowhere else to go. So it's just sitting on top of the ground. And so even on higher ground up here, you're just leaving tracks wherever you go, so. Unroll this without getting stuck. Well, I pulled the truck into the hay barn and uh, cleaned it off a little bit more. And I believe I have found the issue. That is not supposed to be moving. That should be solid like this one is. So right there, need to tighten that up and hopefully that fixes it. And the group of calves is now fed. Well, at least they've been fed hay. I'll be feeding them grain here in probably an hour. But uh, yeah, these guys are getting ready to be sold. So this will be their last feeding of grain before they're sold. So. Hopefully none of them start getting sick with this nasty weather right before we sell them, but they've all had two rounds of vaccines, so they should be should be good to go. But and guys, most of the cows are fed. We're gonna move the last big group into this pasture here for the next couple days. Um, there's a little bit of grass they can graze on, but we're still feeding hay. The reason I'm coming in here, as you guys know, had four pigs. We actually did butcher them this past weekend, and so uh, that'll be in the next video you guys see. And we still haven't processed the meat yet, but that will be the following video. Anyway, I say that to say this, pigs are gone. That means the electric fence that we used for them needs to come down, and I need to get the old solar charger and battery out of here before the cows tear them up. Because at the moment, they're just sitting out here not protected. The 
last thing I need for feed is this shovel. So as I mentioned before, we are selling these calves here soon. And uh, this is actually, this may be the last time we feed uh, most of these in this group, but I would never recommend pouring a bunch of concrete because it's just expensive and doesn't really make sense. But if you are feeding a bunch of calves grain and you got some nasty weather and a bunch of mud, concrete does come in handy if you've already got it. We are not feeding them out in the field anymore since it's been so wet. We've been feeding them here in this barn lot here on the concrete. But these old concrete bunks, they don't have any way to drain. So they just fill up with water and I got to come in here with a shovel and scoop all this water out uh, just so the feed doesn't get soaked and moldy and the calves don't eat it, so. as you can see and uh, now it's time to let him in So all the calves are in here and fed. We got one, she's trying to see what I'm up to. But like I said, this will probably be the last time at least all the beef calves are fed grain. Cause like I said, they will be getting sold here soon. And like I had mentioned, this concrete is a lifesaver in this kind of situation. Uh, Cause if we were feeding them out in the field still, this would all, the pastures would look like this. So. Uh, this concrete it does have a drain over there so all the liquid will go down 
And then in the summer when all this poop dries up, we'll scoop it up with a tractor and it'll turn into fertilizer. So, so like I said, all the beef calves will be getting sold. And the initial plan was to sell mine sort of in the same week. And that has since changed. So we did come across a few more bales of hay. And uh, since my calves are so much smaller, they're not going to be eating near as much as the straight beef calves will. So we did come across some more hay that was... That was a pretty decent price. So I will be keeping my calves at least for another month. Yeah, so my calves are not gonna be sold. We're gonna have to separate these here, um, here in the next day or so, uh, and let mine out to the pasture and we'll keep all the beef calves in here till we sell them. Anyway, I just thought I'd update you guys. Just letting you know, my calves will be staying now for a little while longer. I'm hoping we can keep mine until spring. That way I can get some spring uh, pasture in them and they can really take off, but we'll see what happens. It depends on what kind of winter we have and what kind of spring we have. still left out in the field he managed to escape out of that field so um i'm gonna try to get him back in here because he will for sure be one we're selling anyway thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one and with that being said i will see you guys next time